Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ramblecraft. We're at episode 6 and in the last episode we made this slime shop and it is time to see if we have made any sales. Now I did rename it to Slime Time suggested by Spice Minds in the comments in the last episode and uh, I quite like it. It was also suggested that I sell blah, 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 that I sell other items but that require slime such as leads and I believe sticky pistons as well, so we might do that at some point. Um, but I have different plans for this episode. But let's see if we haven't made any sales. I know we've made one, but I don't know if we made any more than that. Ooh. Okay, we have. <laughs> we have made sales. 24 diamonds. Any in here? Nope. 24 diamonds. All right, that's... That's a lot. I like that. That's that has done well. Now, have we made any in the in the in the fish shop? I doubt it. Yep, I doubted it. I'm actually going to go ahead and take some fish for myself because I am kind of running low on food, so I'm gonna take those from my own uh, from my own shop. Uh, but 24 diamonds—that's really really not bad. I like that. I'm starting to question the fish shop though. I'm starting to think maybe I should either take it down and build something else or. I could rebrand it basically and use it for something else. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But in today's episode, we will actually be spending quite a bit of time down here in the nether. And uh, I have good reason for that. And that is because I want an upgrade. I These diamond tools are awesome, but there are better stuff, AKA netherite. And I want this netherite because I want full netherite armor and I want my tools to be netherite as well. But I'm gonna do it in a bit of a different way. You see, there are multiple ways of getting it. You can use the bed method, you can use TNT, you can dig, you can branch mine. But I am gonna do something a little bit different. And I'm going to show you what it is by building it. But basically everything we need in here, every, everything that's in the shulker box is what we need. So that might be a little bit of a hint. Now I don't want to leave with all these diamonds. In fact, let us make them into diamond blocks right there. Pretty cool. And then I was thinking about something. Oh yeah, I need to grab my, maybe need to leave some of the food here. Take that and I'm gonna bring the ender chest with me, of course, like so. And we need to go to the nether. All right, so here we are in the nether at my portal. Now we're pretty close in proximity to other portals. And I want to basically, basically I need to travel for quite a while. Um, I do have the fireworks for this, hopefully. But I want to travel maybe like, I don't know. Oh dear, no. Stay back, stay back, all of you. Go away. I basically want to travel like Maybe 2,000, 4,000 blocks away where hopefully people won't get to. It's not because they can't get to it, well, not that they are not allowed to get to it, but I just, it, it's gotta be a little bit destructive. The method I'm going to use is going to be a little bit destructive, so I don't want to be near where people may build. Now, of course, I am risking that by, of course, going 4,000 blocks away. Maybe I'll hit someone's portal, but we should hopefully be all right. Now, I don't know if I'm nearing any surface right here. I am by at Y level 83. I do hear a gas to the right. So I'm gonna keep digging and hope that, oh, I, I took I took a screenshot. <laughs> um, and hope that I reach the surface or a surface around here so I can fly. Because flying does indeed go a lot faster. Um, but my hopes are getting a little bit low here. Okay, I'm out somewhere. Um, I don't know where I am. I do hear a gas, so that's a good sign, I guess. Maybe? Alright, so I did something else. I went on the bridge and then I went out. Um, and now I hope that I won't die in the lava to a glitch or bug or something. This is kind of scary if the elytra just all of a sudden gives out. But... We should hopefully be good. Uh, let's land here real quick. All right, so I'm already 200 blocks out. Uh, I just gotta keep going to maybe like my Z minus 2000. 
Um, just so I am 100% safe out oh here that I reach to a spot that is most likely not uh, inhabited. Uh, is that the word? I don't know. I'm currently at Z level 1000 minus 1000. And I just stumbled upon this. Thought I might as well check if there's any goodies inside of it. Eh. Uh, not really. Not really anything spectacular. Not gonna go for the gold. I would rather get to my goal right now. I am going to uh, put some stuff in here. Just in case. And I'm gonna pull out these extra fireworks that I have. Uh, because I am running a little bit low. But I shall continue the traveling. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. This is satisfying though. When there's open space like this. It is really satisfying to just fly through everything. And just... Yeah, fly through the whole nether. <laughs> you really get far like this. Alright, I am almost 3000 blocks away from my portal. And I found this spot that is at Y48. And this area should be perfect if I just clear out some more room. So, let me clear out some room and let's, uh, let, let's start the thing that I wanted to do today. Alright, so first off, I need to make a little bit of a hole here, about 10 blocks deep. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, around here should be good. And then I just gotta dig this... Uh, uh, out. <laughs> then I just gotta dig this hole out. And uh, I'll be back once I have done that. Should be pretty fast with this pickaxe. Alright, so now it is time to actually start building the machine. And I might already say what it is. We are building a TNT duplicator. And the video that I'm watching is made by Raceworks. Link to this specific video will be down in the description below. But this should be able to do some pretty good stuff. Now... Bad news, I forgot to bring something, and that one something is obsidian. I needed obsidian for this, but we'll see if we can't manage without it. Otherwise, I'll just have to make the trip back, because why not? That's fun, right? Anyways, um, now I need to try and make this <laughs> properly. Alright, so I'm going to try and do this correctly. We need this coral fan right there. And we need to go two out, one up, and one over, and then one like that. And then we need to put a slime block right under this, actually, right there. And we're going to have a piss in there. So I need to dig some more of this out as we go along. But that is all right. So that is this part pretty much and then I need to replicate it on this side as well so once again that right there two slime blocks like so brain coral fan up over like so and uh, boom boom right right nope not right it has to be mirrored <laughs> so these needs to go here and then this should go there and boom, like that. That should work. All right, I think I got this. So, cobblestone here and there, cobblestone wall rather. Detector, ra detector rail, slime block away. Why did I not pick up the minecarts? Hold on. Then we put a minecart there and a minecart there. And I do believe that that is pretty much everything that is required. Of course, then we also need the TNT here. But I'm not going to place that just yet. Um, because I don't want it to turn. Eh, you know what? Just, yep, there we go. That should be that part. Now I need to make basically like a small little clock thing over here. With pistons that basically make it so that this thing can turn on and off. Uh, the way it needs to for this to be efficient. First off, we need to remove those and place some sticky pistons facing into the slime blocks right there. And then we need to connect some blocks like so. And put some... Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
I'll need that. Redstone, and I do need... <laughs> I wasn't smart, and I did not bring any cobblestone with me whatsoever. So now I kind of have to break this uh, stone that I have with me for redstone purposes into cobblestone. But it's fine. So we place that there. And we don't flick it yet. <laughs> we could. It would work. It would basically start duplicating the TNT. But I'm not ready for that yet. Now we read the not read. We lead the redstone in there, and we should get an observer not facing that way, facing the other way, like so. Oh, I think the farm is pretty much primed now. Um, <laughs> we'll see if we all of a sudden get an explosion. Hopefully, I've done this right. Um, I should have made this right, and it should still work. So now I put redstone on top of there, and uh, then I place a furnace there with, make way, make with, hold on, wait for it, we'll place a repeater on top of it, facing into a block, like so, and then, then we place a leaf block like so. Huh, it worked. Wait, stand back. Ha, it works. <laughs> now, I do believe this needs to be on. Uh, hey, that's satisfying. That is satisfying right there. Now, lava will be an issue while we do this, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, we got this. We, we got this. We got this. So now what I need is more room to work in. Yeesh. So we need a block right there and another sticky piston like so with another slime block here. Um, and I need this, I believe this thing needs a lever as well. So let's quickly get one of those. Um, yeah, that needs a lever. I'm gonna extend it right now before something happens. And then I need to put a lock like so and a redstone block on top of that and that should be this thing able to just repeatedly like constantly go let out TNT um yeah I believe this thing is done that was actually not that bad now I hear a lot of fire do we have we struck a uh, have we struck a fortress here? We have. There's a fortress here. Okay. <laughs> right next to us. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to intervene too much. I'm gonna hope anyway. Just the fire sound is going to be annoying. But uh, we should be... Ow. We should be good. Alright. So it is kind of straight on forward from here except kind of kind of not uh, we need to run this a little bit more um, and we will run it in bursts but the issue here is going to be yeah lava like that is going to be very very painful to deal with here um, I did not intend I did not see this lava lake here um, before I began because you usually don't want to do this near any like lava lakes like this at all um, but we'll just have to go with it I guess and see how we do we should be all right maybe but we'll just have to deal with the lava as we go down now, this is of course going to get blown up again but it's fine now once we get to Y level around Y level 22 uh, we want to place down an obsidian platform and I don't have the obsidian with me but I think I have a solution to that uh, can I get out of here? Ow. Yep, I can. Oh, no. All right, so just turning on this lever should. Yep, but I don't want to do it too much. You don't want to do too many bursts. While uh, having this farm so close. But yeah, this, this lava lake right here is going to be a huge issue. Oh, man. I might have to relocate. I might have to relocate. I did not know there was this huge lava pool right here. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, that's annoying. I'll have to relocate. But this is... Hey, we, we built it. 
um, I just have to tear it all down now and relocate because that we, we just cannot work with that lava right there. So um, I'm going to tear it all down. At least now we know how it works. So I'm going to tear it all down and then have to rebuild it at another location. So I'll see you guys uh, when I've done that. Whoopsie. All right. A lot of stuff has happened since the last clip. It has um, it has been a while. Let me just adjust my chair here. Because uh, you're in for a story time. So, uh, basically, I'm going to cut it very shortly. Down. I broke the machine. Uh, something happened and the machine blew up. Then... I lost resources, then I had to go all the way back to the portal, but on my way back to the portal I lost all my fireworks, basically I used them all, then I got lost, then it took a, quite a while for me to find the portal, I then finally found the portal and then got back home and got the resources, um, most of the resources, we'll get back to that, and then I flew out and then I found this spot that I'm now at, and uh, guess what, I had forgotten a single resource. So I had to fly all the way back and get the resources and then fly all the way back here and then the machine didn't want to work properly and things were being messed up. But now it all works. I was just um, not seeing a few things. So um, I rebuilt the machine. Here we are. And this is why I have a little bit of a wall here because gas like to spawn over here. But it does work now. I have confirmed it which you can see by that hole down there. And um, could you please like go away so it's actually somewhat safe for me to go down there like just thank you all right so uh let's give this a shot shall we so uh if we look at here the bottom here um is at my level 32 we want to get to like 21 or 22 before we make an obsidian platform and then this time i actually did get to bring my obsidian so that's a plus and we'll get to it shall we Let's, uh, let's see this thing in action. Now I may want to uh, first off get back up. Secondly, I may want to just lower this to maybe 10%. And uh, so once I flick this, it is going to rapid fire a bunch of TNT. So maybe we'll just do a little bit of... Oh no, don't blow up, please. Okay, we're good. So just shoot out a little burst like that just until we get to the right place. Another burst like that. All right, so we revealed some lava. That is all right. We need to then fly down and take care of that real quick. Yay, feather falling. So just gotta go up here and take care of the lava. I should have brought my bucket, but I didn't. Wait, I do have my bucket, yes. Haha, <laughs> because then I can just scoop it up place it and do that yeah this is <laughs> I'm happy I have my bucket now so now I can just do that sweet oh wait would you look at that haha <laughs> our first ancient debris right there it has already revealed some ancient debris our first ancient debris right here that's not bad let's grab that nice uh, do I have space yeah I do have space in my inventory good <gasps> it's a two vein it's a two vein Sweet. All right, cool. That's our first two ancient debris. Nice indeed. All right, so what we want to do is we kind of want to stay right under these two TNT. So if I just move over here one block, then this seems like that block right there. And so I then need to get up to Y level 22, 21 ish. We'll do 22. And then move over like so. And if I have placed these correctly, uh, I should we should be able to see the TNT land perfectly on these once we turn on the TNT duplicator once more. All right, here we are, the obsidian. Just turn it on for a little bit. As you can see, we have most of the TNT actually landing. Oh, I see more ancient debris already. Um, so I don't know why. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's hmm. okay. Hold on. Let me fix that. It appears that when I was ah, huh. it would appear that I moved these. Well, the machine I think maybe moved a little bit when I actually made this. Um, it's all right that the TNT activates. Get down. <laughs> Whew. 
Okay, let me just, <laughs> let me finish this. So I should pull this lever, retract. Okay, now I just have to move the obsidian a little bit. All right, I think now it should all land exactly on the obsidian. Cool. So now I'm going to lower this again, because now we're going to activate the repeating system like so. And it just has to run for maybe five minutes or so, uh, 10 minutes, who knows? I see some lava, so let's stop it real quick. Wait for the explosions to calm down. And uh, yeah, I just have to come down here and stop the lava every now and then. But as you can see, it is revealing a bunch of ancient debris. We have some there, we have some there, we have here, and we probably have somewhere else as well. But first, I just have to deal with this lava and I'm gonna continue just this process for a while because this hole can actually become very, very big. So that is what I'm gonna do. We want a lot of ancient debris and uh, this is the way to get it. This is a fun way of doing it. All right, lava has taken, been taken pretty much care of. This is an interesting like glitch, but that's whatever. Time to get back out and then ow, 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 ow. Time to power up the machine yet again. Let's go. And yeah, just gotta keep this running for a while. And uh, I'll wait a little bit more until I actually go down and fix any lava issues. But yeah, this is, um, this is the way. <laughs> To, uh, to deal with this. This is a cool way of getting ancient debris right here. Who wants to use the bed technique when you got this thing right here? Now the last thing I want to do is fall down there because then I can pretty much guarantee that I'll probably be dead. That's what I will assume anyway. Alright, I stopped the machine. Let's see how far it actually got and whoa, it's a huge hole. And look at all the ancient debris. Okay, that is soul sand. Uh, okay, we got a couple of soul sand here and there, but look at all the ancient debris. Oh wow, all this trouble with finally getting this machine up and running, I think has still saved me time from making the, the branches with TNT and beds. This is a much more fun and... Uh, entertaining way. All right, lava has been dealt with. I'm going to now activate the machine once again, once I get back up. All right, I'm gonna activate the machine again and I'm gonna let it run for a little while. I think I might actually AFK a little bit, <laughs> just for like five minutes. I'll let it run for like five, 10 minutes and then we'll see where we're at after I have removed all of the lava after that. So, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a little bit of a safe chamber here for myself and I will be right back with you guys once I've removed all the lava. Well, actually before I remove all the lava, just to see, just to get the first reaction of the huge area we have revealed. All right, this machine has been running for about maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little bit over, I lost track of time. But uh, anyways, let's run. Whoa. Let's jump down here and see what has, ow, what has happened. This is an absolute ginormous hole. Wow. Now this lava has probably hindered some TNT from expanding a little bit further than it could have. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this lava here. And then let's kind of, let, yeah, let's count up the age of debris and see how much we got. Well, this is quite interesting. This lava here poured all the way down and it's the one that has been causing this huge like lava waterfall thing here. At least I think so. Yep, look at that. Wait, who's angry at me? Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. <laughs> that one right there caused this whole lava like waterfall thing. Wow, all right. All the lava except for these two have been dealt with. And now it is time for me to mine all this ancient debris. Now I think it would be a lot more interesting to see that in a time lapse from up here somewhere, just watching me bridge up to all of these and start mining them. I, it's hard for me now to see how many there are, but I guess I'll just have to start from a corner well, one side, I guess, and uh, move my way around. Yeah, I guess that's how I'm gonna do it. 
Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Alright, all of the ancient debris has been mined up. At least, I hope so. I looked extra carefully, um, but I don't think there were any left. Anyways, I'm shocked by the amount that we have. So look at this. 3, 2, 1. Yup. We pretty much have 40. We only have 30. Only. <laughs> we have 39. Uh, which is a bit annoying. Because it's going to leave us with three left over. Because we need four in total to make ingots. So we will have three, le three ancient debris left over. But it's fine. It's alright. Nine is all we need to upgrade all of our gear. So let us in fact do that. I'm going to right now pack things up here. And then head back to base. And we're going to upgrade everything. We're going to upgrade all our gear, all our tools, all our armor to netherite. Alright, so we are back home with our ancient debris right here. I'm going to put these spare three right in here for later use. And we are going to smelt these 12 uh, ancient debris right here in these furnaces. And I'm going to have to grab some more coal for these guys because they are running out. Look at that. Our first netherite scrap right here. I'm gonna let it all smelt and then we'll convert it all into netherite ingots and then we'll start actually hold on. I don't have it I don't have an upgrading table. Or a smithing table or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's two iron and four wood, right? Yes, I was correct. Where can I place this? Um just put that, put that there and then I guess put this here and then I do have to put in a sneaky torch somewhere so it doesn't become spawnable and I come in here and then all of a sudden there's a creeper. We don't want that now, do we? All right, yes, I'll let it smelt and then I'll be right back. All right, it is done. 36 netherite scrap, which means we will need, uh, I think this much gold. Ha, <laughs> perfect. 36 gold ingots right there and netherite right there now i do need to remember my other diamond tool right in here that we also need to upgrade so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine things we need to upgrade just enough so well let's start i guess with the armor let's start with the armor Ooh, look at that ding 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 <laughs> i love that sound dung 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 <laughs> i guess we can do that cling Look at that. Yes, cover me in debris indeed. Look at that. That is beautiful. And of course, it has all the enchantments on it. Let's do the sword now. Because we want another right sword, because that's cool. A pickaxe. Our other pickaxe with Fortune 3. Our axe. And finally, our shovel. Just like that. Look at that. We are geared out. I think there's actually a spider outside and it's night time. Uh, let's give this netherite sword a shot, shall we? Where are you, speedy? Ah, right here. Ooh. Gotta like it. Ah, hmm. Okay. Da, da, the sword can't... Okay, you know what? Um, da, da, sleepy time. Now, unfortunately, that is all we have time for for this episode. I don't know why, but time really, really flies. But anyways, that will be it for this episode. But in the next episode, I have something planned. You see, I want to make a shop of something and you'll see what in the next episode. But I want to make a new shop. Maybe I'll reuse the fish shop. I don't know about that. Let me know what you think I should do with the fish shop down below in the comments. Um, but either way, we will be opening a new shop next episode. And also we will begin the construction of our main base, which... Oh, wait, I don't have a light. <laughs> There we go. We will begin construction of the main base somewhere around the center of the island, probably around here. I'll work on a design and we'll get started with that in the next episode as well. 
But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I really, really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one because it's gonna be really exciting. I'm really excited about getting this tower up and running, um, this the base here up and running because in the end, my intention is to have all farms around the island go using pipes into the tower into storage. So yeah, it, it's it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be great and i can't wait for it but anyways i really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like because it does help a lot and leave a comment especially about that fish shop because i really i'm not sure what to do there but uh yeah that's gonna be it for this one and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and goodbye